In our health alert tonight, a new study links hair dyes and chemical mm. straighteners to breast cancer. Yeah, this is a big one, and that link was significantly higher for African-American women. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, joining us now. And Dr. Nandy, past studies on these types of hair products have been inconclusive. So how serious is this? So, Glenn, it is, it is very, pretty serious. I believe women should really be aware of this research because millions of folks use these products, right? And also because breast cancer is the second leading cause of cancer death for American women. Now, breaking the study down, scientists at the NIH, or National Institute of Health, looked at data from over 46,000 women. And here's what they found, that using permanent hair dye was associated with an 8% higher risk of developing breast cancer for white women when compared to non-users. But get this, for African-American women, their risk was significantly higher. In fact, it was 45% higher when compared to non-users. And that number jumped to 60% higher risk if the product was applied every five to eight weeks or more. So pretty serious. Now looking at the chemical hair straighteners, these products were linked to a 30% a higher chance of developing breast cancer if used every five to eight weeks. And that was for both white and African American women. Mm. Doc, these are some pretty scary statistics, yeah. but what about a, a temporary or even a semi-permanent dye? Now, there's some good news here, as temporary or certainly permanent dye use were not as strongly linked. The research team actually found little to no increase in breast cancer risk, and that could be because these products contain fewer colorless chemicals, also called aromatic amines. Many of these are carcinogens and endocrine disruptors, so they disrupt your endocrine system. So they might increase the risk of breast cancer, and we think maybe by binding to breast tissue DNA and causing damage. Should women stop using these, Doc? That's uh, an important question, uh, Glenda, but let, let's, ta let's talk about this. Breast cancer is rarely caused by one thing only, right? There's a long list of factors women need to be aware of, like age, genetics, reproductive history, and dense breasts. Also, are you exercising? Are you keeping a healthy weight and drinking moderately? But back to your question directly, in my opinion, women, especially African-American women, should really consider looking at these products and, and avoid them if they can to help lower the risk. And we were talking uh, before, the, before we air, go, went on air, this is not a cause and effect, right? This is an association. So we really have to look at it and say, you know, we need more research. But I think if you can, let's cut back. Frightening. All right, Doc. Thank you. My and pleasure. if you have a question or a health concern for the good doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy at askdrnandy.com, or be sure to send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. Not so